hello friends welcome back in today's video we are going to see how to integrate blink app with water level controller so in the previous video we have seen how to create the project related to the water level controller using the ultrasonic sensor and esp32 so this is the circuit diagram for the water level controller project which we have seen in the previous video so this is the code for integrating the blink app with the water level controller first thing to do here is to add the library of blink from here as you know just go here click here on the plus sign and uh, search for the blink and add this library over here here we can see the coding part we need to include these libraries over here so this is the blink simple esp32.h and these are the pinouts for the project so it includes the led pins connected to the led or the motor or the ultrasonic sensor these values we are going to fill from the blink cloud itself when we create the project over there just enter your password and ssid for the wi-fi network you have and this is the function where we update the parameters for the blink of course we are uh, operating motor here this is the initialization part for the pins which are used in this project so this is the pin initialization for the ultrasonic sensor and here the wi-fi network is initialized here the blink takes the control of the project here we get the values from the ultrasonic sensor and uh, we update it on the blink so here is the logic for the water level controller which we have seen in the previous project here you can see we are updating the virtual parameters related to the blink app so now we have blink running over here this is all about the coding part now we will go to the blink console just log in into your account for the blink cloud click here on the template to create the new template so click here on the new template give the name as water lever controller choose esp32 from hardware choose connection type as wi-fi you can write brief description over here if you are done then click here on the done button now next step is to go to the data stream add new data stream add virtual pin give the name as led low keep other settings as is and click here on create so click here again on the new data stream to add new virtual pin right here led middle this pin will be v1 pin click here on create again add new pin give the name as led high this is v2 pin create this virtual pin now again add new pin that is for motor right here pump or water pump this is v3 pin just create the virtual pin we will create another pin this is for ultrasonic sensor value so right here ultrasonic this is the pin v4 create this pin so we have created the virtual pins for our project we are going to save our template over here let us create the device click here on new device we will create our device from template choose the template that is water level controller device name is water level controller now create the device these are the parameters we are going to use in our code so copy it to the clipboard go to the walk v simulator just paste it over here now go to the blink console we do not have any widgets over here so we will try to add the widgets so click here on edit dashboard 
we will add this widget switch to the board we will add the LEDs over here we need four LEDs we will add here the this will be used to monitor the values coming from the ultrasonic now let us configure these LEDs just start from here go to the settings choose here the data stream that is LED low we can choose the color from here set the color as red and you can see this virtual pin V0 is associated with this widget now save this now go to the next LED go to the setting choose the data stream as uh, V1 and just save these settings go to the third LED click here on the settings choose LED high if you want to change the color you can change the color I am keeping the color same so save it or oh, let me and assigned I think the data stream data stream is water pump save the settings we will do setting for switch choose the data stream as water pump we will write over here switch and save the settings now do the settings for gauge so choose this virtual pin V4 we will change the color based on the value save these settings so our setup is ready we are going to save this setting and apply this oh we have forgotten to do some setting over here so we will edit it set the max value as 400 and save it save and apply So our dashboard is ready so click here on save and apply you can see the dashboard is offline right now so let us go to the coding part start the simulator so simulator is connected with Wi-Fi now you can see the motor is on or water pump is on and low level LED is on so let us see what is happening on the blink console so water level controller dashboard is now live it is online and you can see LED low is turned on and water pump is on here the ultrasonic sensor value is 2 let us vary the ultrasonic sensor value now you can see the ultrasonic sensor value is 232 and here the motor is still on and the middle level LED is on so we will see the status on blink console you can see the value on the gauge which is representing the ultrasonic sensor value 
and here the middle level LED is on and water pump is running so let us change the levels of the ultrasonic sensor I am changing it to 400 now now you can see the motor is turned off or the water pump is turned off and the high level LED is uh, on that means tank is full so let us see the status on blink console so now you can see the ultrasonic sensor value is 400 and uh, status of high level LED is on and water pump is turned off let us change the ultrasonic sensor value now you can see the middle level LED is on see the blink console so this LED is on now we know that water pump is off switch is off so we will try to turn the switch on by clicking over here so switch is turned on so water pump is on let us see what is the status on the simulator now you can see the motor is running you can turn the motor off by clicking over here on the switch again so switch is off water pump is off let us check the status over here so now the motor pump is off now start the blink app on your mobile you can see the project water level controller is already there so click here on this project so we will have to create the mobile user interface for that purpose click here on the settings no widgets are added so we will add the widgets from here by pressing here on the plus sign we will add LEDs first so we will add first LED click here on the first LED then choose the data stream choose LED low LED V0 we can change the color over here by clicking on design and just clicking on the LED color so we can choose this color so we will click on the cross now we will add next LED by clicking over here on the plus sign choose LED just click on this LED choose the data stream as uh, V1 set the color by clicking here on the design now I am accepting this color so click here add next LED just choose the data stream as uh, v3 sorry v2 that is for high level led so choose the color i can choose it as green so come out of these settings by clicking on the cross button So setting is done for the LEDs. Now we are going to add the switch. Click here on the button. Click here on the button it again. Just change this mode to switch. Choose the data stream as V3 water pump. Click here on the design to change the color. change this color to this value or 
this value click here on the cross now it is added now click here on plus sign again to add the gauge so gauge is available over here let us click on the gauge choose the data stream data stream is v4 then click here on design click here on the color we can choose green color over here click here on the cross and come out of the settings now we can see the low level led is on and motor is running and uh, on the simulator also we can see the same status that uh, motor is on and the low level led is on so change the ultrasonic distance sensor values so now you can see the middle level led is on and the motor is still running and same is uh, available on the app and at the same time you can see the ultrasonic values available on the app on the gauge now let us change the ultrasonic sensor value to 400 so now the high level LED is on and the motor pump is switched off and same status is available on the app as well now we will try to operate the motor pump remotely from the mobile app by operating the switch so let me take this ultrasonic sensor value to the value greater than 200 So now you can see the middle level LED is on and the motor is off. We can turn the we can turn the water pump on by clicking over here on the switch. So switch has been turned on and now you can see the motor pump is on. We will turn the switch off again. Now we can see the switch is turned off and the motor pump is off. Uh, you can see the water pump is off. So friends that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. In this video we have seen how to integrate the blink app with the water level controller. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video then please hit the like button. Do share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.